every day. I would have just added a day for two T's called the Trader's Day. And instead of, you know, the Nat, I would have gotten MJ or, or I mean, I'm just thinking you could have gotten Larsa, Feifei. Here's the problem with Feifei. Do you want to know the problem with Feifei? What? What? Because the problem with Feifei is she wants guaranteed money up front. That's the problem. So I don't think Feifei would have done the podcast with Tam Tam unless there was, she would have been like, well, how much? And it's like, girl, it doesn't work that way. I mean, David and Sarah are rolling in the dough over here, uh, joking, but you have to work your shit up. So yeah. I don't think Feifei would have done it. To be honest with you, I think Tam should have kept it under the two T's, added an extra day, pulled an MJ, and then now on the two T's platform to do like the two T's trader, but we have MJ, that would have been something. You know what I mean? Sheree maybe, but I think MJ would have been the right person just from a producer point of view. Tamara and MJ would have killed it. And then recap the traders. Sure. It's a great show. It's having a moment. I don't know if Tamara alone talking about the traders is going to be, I mean, unless she's going to have guests on, are you going to have the person who's voted off? I don't know. Look, more power to her. More power yeah, to she her. She's pulling out all the stops. All the stops. Um, all the stops. I was going to think we could wrap up Vanderpump and then move on. Uh, what'd you think of Lisa Vanderpump commenting about Rachel? Saying that Rachel Levis should have come to her instead of doing Bethany Frankel's podcast. LVP stands by that Rachel has made about 350000 from that last season. Um Wow. What do you think? And basically LVP was like, it's a huge mistake. She didn't come back to television. Huge mistake. I agree with a lot of this. Now, first of all, I don't necessarily understand Miss Vanderpump when she says she should have come to me instead of Bethany. I mean, does Lisa Vanderpump have, she had a podcast. Does she currently have a podcast that well, I don't I think know? She's of? referring to airing out like the show, the mistreatment that Rachel also felt like she felt uh, the way the reunion went down. I think LVP was saying, instead of going on and telling Bethany that story, why didn't you come to me and say, because LVP is an executive producer, why didn't you say, Hey, you know, I have a I have an issue with how this all went down. That I I get what she's saying. Are we sure? I mean, I'm sorry, LVP, but you know, that's what we do here behind the velvet rope and on the Sarah Fraser show. We do poke holes and things. I mean, are we sure Rachel didn't? Because I thought at one point Rachel said that she went to like Bravo and Lisa and tried to ask for help as far as like help. I've been, you know, bullied and mistreated. So I don't know. I mean, is that really true that she didn't go to Lisa? Sorry, Lisa. I got to call it like I see it. Um, Why go to Bethany? I mean, ain't that the million dollar question on a lot of things? And speaking of which, I mean, we've gone from like Bethany with me. Ne Listen, I mean, never count out the B, according to her. She told us, she taught us never. that. Yeah. But we had Nini, we had Rachel, we had, you know, Denise Richards, even that took a moment. Like, where is, where's, where's, where's the next thing? Where is Kyle? Where is Morgan Wade? Where, I mean, that, that would be a good one. Bethany should get Morgan Wade. Where is Mauricio? Like, what happened to these viral big fish that she was, oh, it's really hard to spend all day and get guest after guest after guest, isn't it, Miss Frankel? Wow. Yes, it is, darling. This Yontip has some uh, words for people this morning. Um, I, I'm riled up. This is like the old David. David said, breathe, David. You're in L.A. You're not in New York. Ooh, breathe. Remember how L.A. works. Okay. You're not in the Hamptons, so you're a little more dramatic. But you're not in New York, so settle down. Ooh. Sorry. Um, well, getting guests, getting big name guests is very difficult. I don't know where it's been. And in fact, is Rewives? No, where does she have the guests? Just be, is Just Be on break, maybe? I don't know. I haven't, I, you know, I, I couldn't, I think, I think the Rachel interview was the last time I listened. I just, I find Bethany insufferable, even though many of our lovely fans will message me all the reasons why I should give Bethany a chance. And I, I used to love Bethany. I was a huge Bethany stan. I admire what she's done in business. I think she has great points about reality reckoning. But uh, I'm not, I'm not really, I mean, I think I, I 
like Thank Bethany you. more than you do, I believe. Yes, you do. Go. I'll be right back. Okay. I believe Sarah has a lot going on this morning, guys. But you know what? We have just David on Patreon on the weekends. We can do it. So I like Bethany, I think, more than Sarah does. I'm not even really coming for her. I do agree you should never count out the B. I have to say, I read this article the other day because of her that was all about the brats at the... Did you see this other viral video going around? The woman at Sephora said that the 10-year-old wanted like... um. I forgot what the facial product was. She wanted some facial product, like, but it's it's whatever it was. I I've used like like a retinol that would like literally a retinol like tears your skin off and like you can't even go outside the next day. And she was like, well, I don't think a ten year old should do that. And the girl was a brat, and then the mother came in and she was a brat. All of what Bethany was talking about. So never count out to be. I don't know where the podcast is. I think we also learned from Rachel. Um, Rachel goes rogue. Lisa is also not happy with Rachel Levis because she's saying things like nothing that we haven't known, but like the Schwartz kiss was fake. She's also Sarah's back. She's also saying things like, you know, she's calling out what's fake on Vanderpump Rules. Believe it or not, someone slipped into my DMs and they were like, I will never watch Vanderpump Rules again. This is disgusting. I can't believe all these things that are fake. Where I'm sure have LVP you... is not happy about that either. No, she's not. So it's like, well, first of all, where have you been? It's all fake. The Schwartz kiss. I mean, again, I guess this when I have seven episodes a week, I got to do repeats every other. I'm just going to retire and just issue repeats from now on. Because when I had Patrick and Paul on Jeff, Jeff Lewis's cronies over there, but they've I've been friends with these two for forever. They called me the other day. They really want to come back on the podcast. I'm like, you know what? I want to come on your podcast again. Let's do a swap before you come right back on mine. But I love yeah, Patrick and Paul. Uh, recap show with Jeff Lewis. Yes. Seriously. So, but on when they were on my show, they talked about the Schwartz kiss was fake and da, da, da. I mean, so like, I don't know. Like I sometimes, and this is said with no arrogance, it's like, I know what I know. And sometimes like, I assume everybody knows it. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't realize like, was this a thing? Didn't we all know the Schwartz kiss was fake? I don't know. I Maybe, a lot of people very upset about maybe that. Maybe not. I know. And so I guess like I knew this. They said it on my show. And then like I knew it from other people that were at Sheena's wedding. They're not trying to be arrogant. So I was just like, oh, we not everyone knows that. And I'm like, maybe not everyone did know that. Maybe that never really was a thing. Sometimes I, sometimes, Sarah, you blur the lines between reality and reality. You know what I'm saying? God, I hear you. Should that be um, our tagline? But um, listen, I wish Rachel the best. What do I think about her not coming back to TV? What Lisa Vanderpost says, I agree. And listen. Yeah, we both said that. Let me tell you something, Sarah. I'm going to, here I go again. Here I go again. Like with something about her. Like when I said Rinna was going to be fired. Messed up with Melissa Gorga, David. I think if this season of Vanderpump Rules is not a hit, and I think it has a lot of, chances of not being a this one could go either way this could be a great season or it could be like the aftermath of scandal is boring i believe rachel levis will be back on bravo vanderpump rules season 12 you heard it here first mark your calendars mark them. Okay. someone Everybody someone the other day that. said to me oh i think bethany is going to be back on bravo in 2025 someone told me i'm like that's not happening